my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus welcome to a new episode of Christ Sandesham <music> word of god says in psalm 119 verses 130 the unfolding of your words gives light it imparts understanding to the simple the word of god that jesus gives us it gives light to our life and it gives understanding to the simple and humble people so today when we are listening to this message of christ let us all ask jesus jesus shed the light of your word into every darkness of my life o oh jesus let the wisdom of your word give understanding to the questions and to the problems that i face in my life let's all close our eyes and prepare ourselves to hear the word of god o oh jesus the word that was made flesh let your word be unfolding to me so that i may be filled with the life and light that you shed and may be filled with the wisdom that you give to the mankind to understand you and to experience you mother mary intercede for us Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear brothers and sisters today when we are sitting before the lord to to hear his divine message we shall read a word of god from the bible a small passage from the bible it's from the book of ezekiel chapter 17 verses 22 to 24 Thus says the Lord I myself will take a sprung from the lofty top of a cedar I will set it out I will break off its a tender one from the topmost of its young twig I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain on the mountain heights of israel i will plant it in order that it may produce broads and bear fruits and become a noble cedar under it every kinds of birds will live in the in the shade of its branches will nest winged creatures of every kind all the trees of the field shall know that i am the lord i bring low the high tree and make high the low tree i dry up the green tree and make the dry tree flourish i the lord have spoken i will accomplish it this is the word of the lord thanks be to god today my dear brothers and sisters the message that god wants to give is this passage 
and when we are going we are hearing the message that what god wants to give us jesus is asking us one question the question is do you allow god to plant you or have you allowed god to plant your family is your life a life planted by god this is a question that i and you have to answer today we see god planted a plant and what is the speciality of that plant the speciality of that plant is that it grew tall as a noble cedar second it bore fruits that taste good for people third to its branches many birds have come seeking for shelter these are the qualities of a plant that is planted by god in the holy mountain of jerusalem but today are you planted by god is your family been allowed by you to be planted by god ritually as a christian as a catholic ritually and publicly you might have started your christian life been planted by god that is through the sacrament of baptism i begin and we begin our christian life where we are planted by god through the sacrament of baptism as catholic and christians our family ritually our families are being planted by god because a family begins through the sacrament of matrimony marriage through the sacrament of marriage you say ritually that i my family is being planted by god but in actuality the question is that in actuality have you really allowed jesus to plant you in the holy mountain have you really allowed your family to be planted by god how can i know today how can i know whether my plan, my family and my life is being planted by god or not just see the result of your life and you are how and your family the outcome of your life and your family the first have you grown tall has your family grown tall like a noble cedar noble cedars are the cedars that grow straight and tall have you grown tall tall it's not literal sense tall in your spirituality in other words spiritual fathers would say like this have you grown tall to be as an exemplary christian do your life be a life that leads an exemplary christian life as you lead your family life are you leading a family life in an exemplary way which god wants you to live as a husband are you an exemplary husband as a wife are you an exemplary wife 
as a child are you an exemplary child as as a mother father are you leading an exemplary life or are you becoming a stumbling block giving wrong examples to others leading a life contrary to the life you are supposed to live are you contradicting your actions with the values of christian life gospel life the question examine yourselves my dears examine ah oh, am i am or are you a better christian leading an exemplary christian life or are you being a stumbling block are you becoming a wrong example for your own children are you becoming a wrong example to others promoting bad habits promoting uh, bad qualities promoting bad type uh, kind of cultures which is against and contradiction to the gospel value examine if it is so ask jesus pardon jesus i surrender myself to you lord you now you plant me in the way you wish to be planted so that i may grow tall allow jesus ask jesus to make you a better husband ask jesus to make you a better wife ask jesus to make you a better children better parents a good christian he will do it but you need to allow him to plant you then the second to know whether you are planted by god or not the second thing that you need to examine is that do you bear fruits the plant that god planted on the holy mountain was the plant that grew up and it bore fruits <laughs> are you bearing fruits are the fruits of the holy spirit being produced from you are are people able to taste the fruits of the holy spirit from your life what are the fruits of the holy spirit we read in galatians chapter 5 verses 20 two onwards we read like this the fruits of the holy spirit are love joy peace patience kindness generosity faithfulness gentleness and self control do we have these qualities do you have love in you or are you treasuring hatred in your life do you show kindness to others or are you a selfish person do you have do you keep mortification and self control or control your self uh, your senses or do you live a reckless life a fruitless life this is a question are you living like that if you lead like that ask jesus 
Jesus, I'm producing rotten fruits. The fruits that you expect from me is not being born by me. There is no love in me. There is no kindness in me. There is no patience in me. I get angry. I have no self-control. I do things according to my in instincts. Just pray to God. Is there? Ask him, Jesus, sorry for not allowing you to plant me. But now I understand. I ask you to plant me in the way you wish so that I may bear good fruits. This is the second one. If you want to be planted by God, if you are planted by God, you will bear, bear fruits. If not, you will bear rotten fruits. The third thing to be to examine whether to know whether you are planted by God or not is that the plants and trees that are planted by God, what happens? Many birds come to it to find shelter. Today, do people come to find shelter under you? Comfort under you? Is your family being planted by God? If it is planted by God, everybody will come together. Everybody will be together. Everybody will come, like to come to the home to seek shelter. If not, nobody likes to come. If you are not planted by God, if your family is not planted by God, you can know it very simply. Very simple way of knowing it is that whether the members of your family love to be in the house or outside. Today, the husbands finish the job by 5 o'clock, but things that Oh, should I go home? I shall be late. I know I'm not going to go to that hell. Children, they don't like coming to house early. They, for them, the enjoyment, joy, everything will be outside. For them, for many of the children today, the House is like burial ground, silent like burial ground. Why? One of the reasons is that the house and family is not being planted by God. To examine your life, my dear brothers and sisters, how are the members of your family? How do people treat you? Do you have friends? Do people come to you for comfort? Or will they be like trying to avoid you? Avoiding you from everything, thinking that you will be a problem? Examine. Examine to yourselves. See. Am I being able to accommodate everyone? In my family, is everybody comfortable, happy in my family? As a wife, is my husband comfortable? Or because of my complaint and nagging attitude, My husband, does my husband wish to be away? As a husband, am I allowing 
everybody to be at peace and is there a space of love in the family or as a husband am I trying to show off my authoritativeness which scatters the members of the family am I being like a responsible parent responsibly trying to uh, nurture and bring up my children or do I do it in a very careless way Ir in irresponsible parenting do I do just examine Jesus is asking you if your family is not being planted by God. Ask Jesus. Jesus. The birds of the air. As it comes to the branches of the tree. That plant that you have planted. Let my family also be in one roof. United with love. United in understanding. United in sharing, united in Christ. This is what we have to understand first. Understand that. So my dear brothers and sisters, examine yourselves. Are you a family that is planted by God? See whether these three qualities are there. If these three qualities are there, your family is planted by God. If not, what are the qualities and changes that I have to bring in my life, in my family to be planted by God? Make that changes. Then the other thing that is very much relevant in the passage that I have read you, what was the twig that God planted in the holy mountain? The twig that God planted was the tender twig. Farmer, nobody plants the tender twig. They all plant matured twigs so that that may grow up. That means God plants in his holy mountain, the weak things. That means you have to allow Jesus to plant in the holy mountain the weaknesses that you have. There may be many weaknesses in your life. In the areas of holiness, there may be weaknesses. In, the, in your family, there may be weak people. What do you have to do? You have to allow Jesus. Jesus, these are the weaknesses. These are the tender twigs that I place before you. Lord, plant it in the holy mountain so that it may grow tall. It may become noble cedar. It may bear fruits and it may be a shelter to all. Place all your weaknesses, all the weaknesses of your family and let us pray together. Let's all close our eyes. God, our loving Father, thank you for this insight that you, you are giving us, that we have to be planted by you in order to grow tall, in order to be fruitful, and in order that we be united. Lord, at this moment, to be planted by you, we place all our weaknesses, all our shortcomings, all the areas of weaknesses in our family we place into your divine hands, O oh Lord. Lord, you plant it in the holy mountain that is in your presence. Lord, give me the grace to be always in your presence, to grow in your presence so that I may become a noble Siddhar. Mother Mary, intercede for us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.